Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophie Dinard and now in today's video, we are doing a makeup routine and skincare routine. I'm gonna be showing you guys the products I like to use on a daily basis to give myself a more natural, clean makeup look and also how I prep my face to put some makeup on because you know when you do your makeup, you don't want to have the day before's makeup left on your face. You don't wanna have dirt and grime because it'll just like clog up your pores and such. So we wanna make sure you have a clean canvas and it also help prevent acne. So, before we hop into this video, I just wanna let you guys know this video is sponsored by Scentbird. Scentbird is a monthly subscription that gives you the opportunity to try different cosmetics, fragrances, and skincare from over 600 brands. Scentbird lets you choose a new designer fragrance every month for just $15, and this works for men and women. With each fragrance, you get a 30-day supply of sprays, so that's about 120 to 140 sprays each time. And that's way more than you'll get in a travel size because comparing the two fragrances, look at, this is like a travel size size and this is the size they send you this is their travel size spray and it's basically like almost getting a full size product but it's way more than any travel like sample size you could get at like Sephora or Ulta or anything like that. And Sempert also partners with brands like Gucci and Prada and also indie brands like Glossier and you guys know I'm a Glossier rep so they have some amazing products on there as well. Now I've worked with Sempert once before and they did not have this new line of skincare and wellness categories. They now are partnering with different brands like Tarte and Glam Glow to give you some new skincare products. They sent me this Lava Magic Mask and I've been using it constantly and I love their skincare products because instead of just getting perfumes you can get makeup and some skincare as well now. I'm gonna be showing you the products they sent me this month and I'm gonna be incorporating them into my everyday routine. I have used these products before since they sent them to me and I do truly love them. So I have been using this product they sent me. This is the Better Skin Lava Magic Cleanser Scrub Mask and they sent Fresh Orange. I love this stuff. I started using it last week and I do recommend only use it once or twice a week because since it, it is an exfoliant you don't want to use it too much because then it can cause like dry skin, dry patches, and it can be a little too harsh if you're using it all the time. So I'm not gonna be using this today just because I used it last night to exfoliate my skin, but this is what the product looks like and this is what the jar looks like. It also came with this little spatula just so you can get like a little pea size amount and use it on your face. It smells so good, I love it. I do have a couple other products I'm gonna be talking about throughout the video, but for right now, since we're just gonna hop into prepping and priming my face, I'm gonna be using these Patchology Flash Patches Eye Gels that they sent me, and this stuff is seriously so cool. It's supposed to help depuff and get rid of dryness around your eyes, which I really need help with. You just kinda lift this tab, and inside here, there's a ton of layers of just eye gel patches. Like, it's not a one-time use and not a two-time use. You get a ton in this jar. I'm so excited to use these eye gels right now because I feel like my most problematic areas or my eyes, they get a little dry in the corners. It says that you're just supposed to leave them on for like five minutes. So, we're gonna do that. Oh my god, they're so jelly and thin. So, we're gonna let this rest for about five minutes and then I'll come back and let you know how it feels on my face and then we will continue on with the makeup and I'll show you some more products that I have been sent. All right, it's been about five minutes. We're gonna take these off and then after you use them, you can just like throw them away. Oh my God, they're so gooey. Like, I don't know, when things feel like gooey like that, I don't know, I just wanna like punch them or pinch them. Is that weird? I don't know, okay. So I guess I could just use this. I don't really use primers. Um, if anything, I just use like moisturizers. It feels kind of thick under my eyes, which it could be good. I guess it is like a good thick moisturizing layer, but now we're gonna start with the makeup. This is what I do. You guys don't have to copy me, but I love you guys have actually been asking for like an everyday makeup routine. I do wear very natural makeup. This is when I do wanna have a little bit more coverage. I've mentioned to you guys before in a lot of previous videos that I do not like to wear a ton, a ton of makeup just because I have suffered from a little bit of acne. I do have a little bit of acne scarring, so I just like to keep it light, but do have a little bit more coverage, especially if I'm going out with friends. I don't like to wear a full face of like foundation, but if you want to, go ahead. It's all based on your skin and like your preference on how much makeup you want to wear, but this is just how I do it. We are going to be starting with the Smashbox little primer I have here. This is the photo finish. This is the Smashbox photo finish primerizer moisturizer, and I like this because it's thin like it's a thinner moisturizer. It doesn't feel super sticky like a um, primer or super thick like a moisturizer, but it's pretty thin. It makes our face feel smooth. I need to go wet my beauty blender. Um, I 
not really a beauty blender. I, I just call all sponges beauty blenders, but I do have the Morphe, I think this is the complexion sponge, and then I also use the highlight and contour sponge. It's the one with like the angled point, you know, and then this one's just like circular. So I'm gonna go with this and I'll be right back. What I usually just do, and some people might find this weird because I feel like you usually put a product all over your face, but I've been doing this forever. Ever since I've been doing this step, it has made me more confident in my own skin because I'm only gonna be putting my Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer on under my eyes, on my eyelids, and then I'm gonna just drag it down just a little here, and then a little bit on my chin, a little bit on my forehead. And I feel like just using a little bit everywhere instead of putting like full foundation all over your face, it kind of makes you more confident in your skin because you're not necessarily putting a thick layer of foundation everywhere, and it still has a little bit of like your natural skin color exposed, and it's not just completely covered, so. So I'm gonna be trying out the another product that Sunbird sent me. This is the Amazing Cosmetics Illuminating Primer slash Highlighter. I tested this on my hand and it is more of a highlighter. I wouldn't use it all over your face because then you'll definitely look like you're a disco ball and you don't want that. This is in the shade Rose. I'm just gonna put some on the high points of my cheeks, maybe a little on my nose and a little bit on my chin just because since I only really do a little bit of concealer and then I'm gonna do majority powder to cover my face. Sometimes powder can make your face look super dry and crusty, so we're gonna do some illuminizing. Ooh, it's pretty. It's like a very natural color too. Ooh. How pretty. It's like a very natural sheen. Like it's not too harsh, like a big highlighter or anything. I'm gonna like sponge it in so it combines with my Concealer. So, next we are going to bake my face. I like to use the CoverGirl Clean Professional Powder. This is a loose powder and I have it in the translucent light shade. This is one of my Morphe like highlighting contour thing is gonna come in. I love the flat side because it's really good for um, baking. I just dip it in the powder. There's a lot of powder on there. I don't like to do too much. I feel like it kind of flies everywhere. And then just swipe. Yes. I look crazy now, but that's part of doing the makeup. I just like to set my under eyes and my forehead and in between my eyebrows because I feel like in between the eyebrows can get like really cakey if you're not careful. I always set my eyes with the translucent powder as well. All right, I'm gonna take this big fluffy brush and just wipe off the powder, but also drag it down like I do with everything else. I don't want the powder to go to waste. I wanna use it on whatever parts of my face I can. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more translucent powder and put it everywhere else. I really love this powder. Uh, this powder lasts so long. There's literally so much in here. I think it's only like five bucks. It's pretty good. From here, I'm just gonna do mascara. Since I don't wear a ton of eyeshadow, mascara is my favorite part to do because it makes my eyelashes look long and beautiful and I love having perfect eyelashes. That's like my main focus. So the two that I always usually use is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. It's like little travel size, so it's like 10 bucks. And then I have this. It doesn't have anything on it because I've used it so much, but I think this is the Maybelline Colossal in Waterproof. I'll have all these products linked down in the description as well. I just like to use the waterproof mascara on my waterline and then I will do the Better Than Sex on the top because you never know, you might cry, you might shed a tear, you might, your eyes just might water with the weather, I don't know. But it comes in handy and I find that this is a really, really good waterproof mascara. And when I do my mascara, I've been doing this forever. If you've been watching me, you know that I do this. I like to take spoolies, like these little ones that just like makeup spoolies. You can get them at like Sephora. I will run these through my eyelashes just after I have coated them with mascara because I like them to look very natural and not clumpy. So I just run this through after I have applied my mascara. All right, next we're gonna do the eyebrows. And I just use gel, I never really pencil in my eyebrows unless I have super sparse hair from plucking or something like that. But I'm just gonna be using two Essence products and this is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel in the color Brownie Brows, this is number two. And then I just have like a clear brow gel. 
Usually I'll go with the clear first, just a little bit to help keep it down. And then I will take the brown eyebrow gel and just focus on more towards like the tail of my eyebrows. I feel like the tails are more sparse. And then sometimes I'll put a little on the front. And this color pretty much matches my eyebrows pretty well. So if I don't put it everywhere, it's not that big of a deal. Now I'm going to do a little bit of just bronzer in the crease. I like to just put this Hula Bronzer from Benefit all over my eyelids, pretty much just focusing more on the outer corner to give my eyelid a definition since we did put some concealer on there. I don't want it to look fully blanked out. I do want to have a little bit of something in the eyelids. So I've been getting into blush a lot recently because I don't know, I feel like it makes you look cute and a little bit innocent and I just love the look of it. Ever since I did my turning into a art ho video, I love blush. So this is the ColourPop Between the Sheets Super Shock Cheek Blush. I have no idea if this is even like showing up on camera because of the lighting, but... Again, I don't know if you can tell if I have blush on, but I do. I feel like it makes me feel more alive and awake after you just put like a little bit of concealer on. So yeah, I also don't really put bronzer on. I only do bronzer and contouring if I'm like going out at night usually because I don't really want to be as harsh as makeup in the day. But yes, this is the makeup so far. I do like to add another coat of mascara, but first I am going to do some highlighter. This is the ColourPop. Fluxitarian Super Shock Cheek, and this stuff is blinding. You barely need a little bit. I have my Morphe Y14 highlighting brush I'm gonna be using. So, this stuff is awesome. Literally a little goes such a long way, it's not even funny. Sometimes I put too much on. just kind of dry from mascara I will curl them and it doesn't pull them out because I do thin out my eyelashes so the mascara isn't gonna be super thick and it won't pull out your eyelashes when you curl them so that's why I curl them it's safe for my eyelashes I'm not tearing them out trust me I love my eyelashes and I would not do anything to tear them out while I wait for my eyelashes to dry I think I'm gonna put on a two top really quickly and then I'm gonna apply this Sempered Radiant Beauty Oil in Lush Gold um, I think for the summertime, this product would be really, really beautiful, especially if you're going out by the pool, you going to the beach, you can just rub this all over your body and it'll make your skin look so radiant and just beautiful and glowy, especially if you want to look very, very bronze and tan. I think adding this would be really awesome. So I'm going to throw on a tube top really quickly and then we can put this on and see how bronzy and beautiful and glowy we look. All right, I have the tube top on. I'm going to shake this up. I'll put just a little, ooh, whoa, <gasps> that is so pretty, you guys can't even really tell, but <gasps> that is really pretty. You guys can kind of see I'm like shining a little, especially because it's oils. This will probably, oh my gosh, it smells so good. This will probably help you tan as well because it is like a body oil. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can even tell, but like, in person, I am so like glowy. I, it's like, it gives you like that pretty wet look, but not like you're sweaty or like you just got out of the shower. Like the Kardashian Jenner wet look when they do photo shoots with like wet hair and I don't know, it looks really pretty. All right, now we're gonna put on the perfume. This is the perfume from Sembird as well. And this is how it works. All you gotta do is like twist it up like this and then you can just spray straight out of it. This is the Confessions of a Rebel from Get A Room Perfume. It smells so good. I love it so much. It's very like mature and I don't have really a lot of perfumes that are mature. I have like Bath and Body Works perfumes and that's about it. So we're gonna curl my lashes really quickly and then we'll talk about, I don't know what we're gonna talk about, but we'll do something. All right, so this is my official makeup look. It's very simple, but I feel like since you add the like bronzer in the crease, it gives you more of like a sultry natural look. I don't know, I feel very glowy and just so pretty. And I think for the summertime, especially with the bronze eye and just like some highlight and blush, 
gives you like a really nice look. I don't know how much it's picking up on the camera, but yeah, this is my everyday makeup look if I wanna do something when I go out. If I go to school, of course, I don't wear makeup a ton, but this is basically what I do on basically a daily basis. So yeah, I'm sick, so sorry if I do sound a little bit nasally. Alright guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Again, thank you so much Sunbird for sending me these products to show you guys. I love Sunbird so much. I have everything I've mentioned from Sunbird down in the description as well as the products I mentioned today. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe to me and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.